Hello everyone, happy Monday. I am going to be teaching you your maths lessons this week. So I'm just going to share my screen. Okay, so today is Monday the 8th of February, 2021. And our learning objective today is how do brilliant mathematicians count in twos? So our warm up is going to be counting in fives, ready for us to move on to that in the middle of the week. Then we're going to go on to our main activity, which is counting in twos. We're going to do some problem solving. And then right at the end, we are going to check our work. So for this lesson, you will need your pencil and whiteboard pen. You will need a notebook or whiteboard. You will need your 100 square and you will need um, 24 counters. Um, it could be pebbles, it could be pasta, anything that's small enough on your table. Um, you just need 24 of them. OK, so I will see you in a second when you have got all of your things. OK, like I said, warm up is counting in fives. OK. Now, if you have your 100 square in front of you, here is a top tip of how to use it. So you can see I have put some arrows to help you. So the first of all, we would start on, well, we'd start on zero over here. Then we would go to five. OK, so five. Then we go across to 10. Down and across to 15. Across to 20. OK, so it kind of makes this Z shape, this Z shape. OK, so five, 10, 15, 20. We keep going across like that. OK, so let's have a go at practicing using our hundred square. OK, my turn. First of all, I'm going to count all the way down to 50. OK, counting in fives. My turn. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Your turn having a go. Okay, perfect everybody. This time we are going to go all the way down to 70. Okay, my turn. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. OK, your turn, everybody. Remembering to say P when we are doing our um, counting in, in our fives and counting in our tens. P, not peen. Off you go, stop at 7p. Okay, brilliant everybody. Right, here is the challenge. We are going to have a go at counting your fives all the way to 100. Okay, so my turn first of all. Off I go. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. OK, your turn and then everybody off you go. OK, brilliant. Fantastic, everybody. OK, now you can see that I have circled my hundred square where I have been circling um, all the numbers that I would say if I was counting in fives to 100. What I would like you to do um, now is with your hundred square is just for five minutes, have a go at circling those numbers that I have circled. So counting in fives and look to see if you can see a pattern. 
button. Okay. And then when we come back in a second, we are going to talk about the path pattern that we have found. Okay, welcome back then everybody. So um, as you've been circling, it might have become clear that you can see a pattern, okay? Now I'm hoping that at home you have seen that when we count in fives, the last digit always ends in a five or a zero, okay? So for example, we have got 25 and 25 has got two tens and five ones. So it ends in a five. The last digit is a five. Then we have got 30, for example, where we have got the three tens. And when we've got three tens, we know it's a three and a zero. So it ends in a zero. Okay, so our rule counting of fives is they always end in a five and a zero. Okay, listen to that one more time because I'm going to ask you to say it back. When we count in fives, they always end in a five or a zero. Can you tell me the rule? See if you were listening. Brilliant. Well done, everybody. They always end in a five and a zero. Okay, now we're going to have a go at playing a game. So I am going to show you on my hand like this, and I would like you to count in fives every time that I do that. So for example, if I went like that, that would show you that I have represented 10. I went five, 10. Okay, the next one, I might go. Okay, so that would have been five, 10, 15. Okay, so you need to be watching and counting out loud how many times that I am um, putting my hands like this and counting in fives, okay? Because I'm not going to do any walking. Okay, watching me, off I go. Okay, shout out at me, what number did you land on? Brilliant, it should have been 25. Okay, get ready for the next one. Okay, what did you get then everybody? Shout it out. Brilliant, I should have heard you say, the, um, not 30, sorry, 40. You should have said 40. Okay, one more. Okay, shouting out at me, what did you land on? Brilliant, it was 15 that time. Okay, fantastic everybody. Let's move on to our main activity now. So that was our little warm up, and now we're going to focus on counting in twos. Okay, now I have circled the number 24 because today that's the number that we're going to be focusing on up to, only up to 24. Okay, so as you can see in yellow, these numbers have been highlighted. We know that here we have a zero. Let me just add that just to remind us that we start with zero. And what we're going to do is we're going to have a go at counting in twos all the way up to 24, okay? So we're going to do this one together, okay? So make sure that we go at the same time, sitting up super straight, so you're um, doing your big loud voice, off we go. Zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Okay, brilliant everybody. One more time, okay, starting from zero. I know that was quite quick, but we have been doing lots of practicing, okay, so try and keep up. Zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Brilliant, okay. You can see on the board, it says, how do brilliant mathematicians count in twos? We have also got a picture of a triceratops, which I know lots of the children in school and out of school love to see, so they love dinosaurs. So let's have a go at doing our dot to dot, which is counting in twos. 
as I count up, you can join in, but I want you to be focusing on the pattern of when we count in twos. What do you notice about the last digit? Okay, and what I mean when I say the last digit is, for example, if I have 14 like this, I mean this digit here, the ones, okay? What do you notice when we are counting in twos? Off I go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four, twenty-six, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-two, thirty-four, thirty-six, thirty-eight, forty. See it coming along now, can't we? 42, 44, 46, 48, 50. Okay, now really listen to me as I say the next few numbers. 52, 54, 56, 58, 60. Have a little think. What do you notice about those last digits when we count in twos? What's our rule for when we count in twos? Any ideas? Okay, I heard somebody say that when we count in twos, well, when we are counting in twos, sorry, the last digits always end in a two, uh, four, six, eight, and a zero. OK, they always end in a two, four, six, eight and zero. That's our rule, counting in twos. OK, on the board, you can see two counters. OK, now we have got four counters. Now we have got six. Now we have got eight. Ten. Twelve. 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. Okay. Now, the reason why I have shown you it like this is because we are going to be learning a new symbol today. And that symbol is called multiply. Okay. Multiple, multiply. Okay. Or times by. So it's either multiplied by or times by. And this is multiply okay so where we have add like this our subtraction we now have multiply okay and it looks like an x like that okay so on the board we have got one group here one group of two okay we have got one lots of two and that equals two okay next one now we have got as i circle it we have got two groups of two let me just go back a little bit to make it a bit clearer so we have got here one lot one times two equals two. Now we have got two groups, two lots of, two lots of two equals four, okay? So going back to where we were, where it looked like this, now we have got two, two groups have been circled, two, Groups of two times by two equals all together we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, next one. Let's have a look now. How many have I circled? How many groups of two? I have got one, two, three. I have got three groups now. Three multiplied by two 
equals six. Okay, next one. I have got how many groups now? I have got one, two, three, four. Four, lots of, and we're looking at twos. Four times by two equals, or four multiplied by two equals eight. Okay, now looking at how many groups we have, we have got five. Okay. So that means five lots of two, five times two equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, and we're going to keep on going. So this time we have got six groups, six lots, six times by multiply by two equals 12. I'm going to keep going. Now I have got seven. Seven groups of two equals 14. Now we have got eight. Eight times by or multiply by two equals 16 and we keep on going so this one is nine thank you we should have nine nine times by what what's the pattern times by two brilliant equals 18 we are looking at our two times table now then we have got 10 and 10 groups of two, 10 lots of two equals 20, okay? And then we have got 11, 11 times by two equals 22. And our last one, hope nobody's fallen asleep on me. Our last one is 12. 12 times by two, two lots equals 24, okay? So we have put them into groups, okay? So we're going to use that today, helping us with some of our multiplication. So let's have a go of going back a little bit and counting in twos. So this will be one of the green challenges later on, okay? So if you're thinking that what I've just explained is a little bit too tricky, okay, hold on now, we'll have a go at these and then we will go back to it. So we have got zero, two, four, something, eight, ten. What goes in between, okay? What would go in between four and eight? I'm going to circle four here and eight here. And if I was to jump forward, I can see that I have landed on six. Let's check. Zero, two, four, six, eight, ten. Brilliant. OK, next one. So we have got six, eight, ten, twelve. Let me circle twelve. I'm going to do my one jump. Remembering counting in twos and I have landed on fourteen. Okay, next one, 14, 16, gap. So I'm going to circle 16. I'm going to do my two jumps because I'm counting in twos. And I have landed on 18 this time. So 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, okay? So that's one of the tasks today is having a go at filling in the gaps, counting in twos though, not counting in ones. And then we are going to go on to what we learned a minute ago, where we have learned to multiply. So we have got this number sentence, four times by two equals something, okay? 
So we know that we are looking at groups of two because it's times two, lots of two. And we need four of them, okay? So let's have a go at drawing four lots of two. So I've got one lot of two. Now I have got two lots of two. Now I have got three lots of two. And I have now got four lots of two. You could use your pasta or your counters to help you do this as well. So making sure you've got four lots of two. I have got my four lots, one, two, three, four, and I'm going to count how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I know that four times two equals eight. Okay, next one. We have got six, and we have got times by two. Six lots of two, six groups of two, okay? So I know I need six of them. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need six groups of them. And I'm counting in twos. So two each time. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Okay, I'm just going to do a line there so it's really clear that these are the counters. I'm going to count them up, okay? So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So that means six times by two equals twelve. Okay? Okay, now we have got um, a bit of a word problem or a number uh, to do our number sentence. So it's it's just as easy, but we just need to work out what those words mean. So there are three children. Now you remember before we always circle the numbers because those are the bits that are important. There are three children. How many eyes are there all together? Well, we have got two here, two here, and two here. They all have two eyes, which means that we are looking at timesing by two. And we know that there are three children. Three lots of two. Three times by two equals. Okay, so I have got one group, one. Now I need another one. Two groups. I must remember there aren't two children, there are three children. Now I have got three groups. One, two, three. Three lots of two make one, two, three four, five, six, makes six, okay? So your challenges today are, your green challenge is going to be looking at completing the missing number sequences. The amber challenge is going to be problem solving, counting in twos. And the red challenge today is to complete the multiplication number sentences. Now I know that this is quite new to you, if you use the examples that we've just done, it should be okay to do, okay? So um, all of you will be able to have a go at this one. So filling in the blanks, counting in twos, remember? Then we have got some challenges um, for the amber. So we have got um, some number sentences that need to be made and then answering. So for example, there are five bikes, circling five, how many wheels are there all together? Okay, now in these bikes, we can see that they have got two wheels each. Two, two, 
tail, tail, two. That means that we are timesing by two. How many bikes do we have? We have got five bikes and we are looking at timesing by two because each bike has got two wheels. So a big clue, five multiplied by two. Next question. This is for the amber challenge. There are four pairs of socks. How many socks are there all together? Okay, so having a little go at um, seeing here how many twos, so two, there's another two, two, two. They are in groups of two, okay? So there are four pairs. So you are going to do four times two and working out the answer, okay? So pause the video there for that one. And going back, sorry, if you didn't get onto that one, if you didn't have enough time, um, pause the video here, making sure that you're having a go at these as I go through them. And then onto this one. So this time, there are three pairs of shoes, circling three. How many shoes are there all together? Just check, I've got two, two, two. They are in groups of two, and we have got three lots of them, okay? Three times two, they are put into twos. So have a go at this one. Okay, now we have got two pet shoes, that's not shoes, two pairs of gloves, okay? Let's just change that, shall we? We have got some shoes on the board. We've got gloves, okay? and circling two. How many shoes are there? Well, there's no shoes. We have got gloves. Sorry, everybody, let's just change that. Don't know what I was thinking. So how many gloves are there all together? Okay, so two here, two over here. Two pairs of um, gloves, and we are going to, um, they have got two all together, so two, times by two. Having a go at that one. And then for the amber challenge, I have got um, this question for you. And it is, Ben counts backwards from 30 in twos. Beth counts forward from zero in twos. They say the numbers together at the same time. Who will say 16 first? Okay. So they're saying each number at the same time, who will get there first? Ben is counting backwards from 30 and Beth is counting forwards. Okay, see if you can have a go at that one, it's quite tricky. Okay, so you will want to have a go at writing these out, finishing these. The next one will be 22 because he's counting backwards. And the next one for Beth is eight and keep going and stop when you get to 16 and see who gets there first, okay? And then the red challenge. So you have got some multiplica multiplication sentences to have a go at. So I'm just going to have a go one more time showing you the first one. So you have got six times two. They are all multiplied and times by two because we are focusing on counting in twos today, okay? So one group, six times two, okay? So let's just circle that, I need six of them. One group, two groups, three, four, I'm not stopping yet, I'm stopping when I get to six, five, six. Now remember, instead of drawing it, you could use your pasta or your pebbles to help you. Let's see how many we've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Or I could be super clever and count in my twos. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. My answer is twelve. Six 
multiplied by two is 12. Six groups of two. Okay? So, pause the video here and have a go at those red challenges. And now we're going to go through some of the answers. So, our green challenge, our missing number was six. Then we had eight and 16, so there was two missing there. Then we have got 10, and then we have got 18. So pause the video here and mark your work. Then for our amber challenges, okay, so we have got five bikes, um, five bikes, and they each have two wheels. So I need to do five times by two, okay? So here I am, one, two groups, three groups, stopping when I get to five, four groups, five, counting in twos, one, two, three, four, five, five lots, two, four, six, eight, ten, five times by two equals ten. Okay, next one. There are four pairs of socks, okay? Now we have got two, 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 two. Four times by two equals eight, okay? So one group of two, two groups, three groups, and four. Two, four, six, eight, okay? And then this one, we have got shoes. So there are three pairs of shoes. How many shoes are there all together? And again, we have got three pairs and we know that they are in twos. Three times two equals six. There are six shoes all together. Okay, go back to this one where I changed, where I changed it. So we have got two times two or two multiplied by two and it equals four okay one two three four okay well done everybody then we have got our challenge our word problem challenge and i've put um our hundred square up there to help us so i had a go at writing ben here and beth down here and i've had a go at writing what they would say each time. And I found out that the person that would say it first is Ben. Because when Ben says 16, Beth is still saying 14. Okay, so we have got Ben who will say the number first. And then we have got our um, multiplication number sentences. So six times two equals 12. 8 times 2 equals 16, 3 times 2 equals 6, 2 times 2 equals 4, 9 multiplied by 2 equals 18, 4 multiplied by 2 equals 8, 1 times 2 equals 2, 5 times 2 equals 10, 7 times 2 equals 14, and 10 times 2 equals 20. Okay, right, I'm going to stop sharing my screen then. I am so proud of you all today because we have learned something completely new today. Okay, remembering for tomorrow that we are looking at multiplying. Okay, um, we are going to have a go at some different number sentences. So this week is all focusing on our multiplication. I will see you then. Have a lovely rest of your day. Bye, everyone.